Um, is this pee? Because if it is, that's really gross. Oh, <gasps> DJ? You pee in bottles? What are you talking about? That one's your pee. Uh-uh, it's yours, it's pee. May I please speak with Allison? It's really unsanitary. Her daughter, it's thank you. Oh, excuse me. Mom, I was selling chocolates in Mayville and... Monster House is a 2006 3D computer animated supernatural horror comedy film directed by Jill Keenan. And let's just say for a 2006 film, this has a decent animation. It's no Pixar, but it's good for a Columbia picture considering it's one of their first animated pictures. And this is also Jill Keenan's second film he ever directed. When the parents of 12 year old DJ Walters are away for the weekend, he is left in the care of teenage babysitter Z. DJ has been spying on his elderly neighbor, Mr. Nebacracker, who scares away the children and confiscates their belongings that land in his front yard. After DJ's best friend, Chowder, loses his basketball on Nebacracker's lawn, DJ is caught attempting to retrieve it, but the enraged homeowner apparently suffers a heart attack and is taken away to the hospital. That night, DJ gets a phone call from the house with no one there and eavesdrops on Z's boyfriend, Bones, who tells her about losing his kite on Nebercracker's lawn when he was younger, and that Nebercracker supposedly ate his wife. Later, Bone sees his lost kite inside the house's front door, but is suddenly devoured by the house while attempting to retrieve it. DJ meets up with Chowder, and the two investigate but retreat when the house comes to life and attacks them. The next morning, schoolgirl Jenny Bennett sells Halloween candy and goes to the house. DJ and Chowder rush out to save her before she gets eaten. Jenny promptly calls the police officers, Landers and Lister, who unfortunately don't believe the trio. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to take a sip of water. Nice water break. <sighs> Drink review. The trio then consult Reginald Skull Skolniski, aka the best character in the movie. If you don't believe me, watch this clip. Go to an expert. You're looking at the three-time Tri-State Over 14 Thou Art Dead champion. His name is Reginald Skolinski, but they call him Skull. Who's they? Me and DJ. Yeah. He's the smartest guy on earth. So let's go talk to him. Hey, hey Jenny, 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 hold on. Whoa. Hold up. Skull is in the game zone right now. And you don't want to mess with him when he's in the game zone. Fine, so how long is he going to be playing? <sighs> Who knows? He once played for four days straight on one quarter, a gallon of chocolate milk, and an adult diaper. The man's a legend. Mm -hmm. They learn from him that the house is a rare monster created when a human soul merges with a man-made structure and that it can only be killed by destroying its heart. Concluding the heart must be the furnace. The trio create and bring a dummy containing cold medicine taken from Chowder's father's pharmacy to the house. Before the dummy reaches the house, however, Landers and Lister return to thwart their plan and arrest them after Landers discovers the stolen medicine inside the dummy. The house eats the two officers and their police car into which DJ, Chowder, and Jenny have been shut. <laughs> After the house falls asleep, the three begin exploring. In the basement, they find toys accumulated from Nebercracker's lawn, as well as a door opening to a shrine containing the encased in cement body of Nebercracker's lay wife, Constance the Giantess. The house attacks the trio inside, to which they force it to vomit them outside by grabbing its uvula. Nebercracker returns a It's a ghost! By revealing that Constance's spirit is within the house and that instead of eating her, he had instead given her the happiest times in her life. As a young woman, he met Constance, then an unwilling member of a circus freak show, and fell in love with her despite her obesity. One Halloween, as children tormented her due to her size, Constance tried chasing them away, but lost her footing and fell to her death in the unfinished basement. Nebercracker had un had finished the building the house, knowing it was what she would have wanted, aware that Constance's spirit made the house come alive. However, he pretended to hate children in order to protect them. 
DJ tells Nevercracker it's time to let Constance go, but the house overhears this. Enraged, it breaks free from its foundation and chases the group to a construction site. Nevercracker attempts to distract the house so that he can blow it up with dynamite, but the house notices it and attacks him. As Chowder fights off the house with an excavator, I don't. DJ and Jenny climb to the top of a crane, and DJ throws the dynamite given to him by Nevercracker into the house's chimney, causing it to explode and release Constance's ghost. DJ apologizes to Nevercracker for his losses, but Nevercracker thanks the trio for freeing him and his wife from being trapped for 45 years. Later that night, children in the Halloween costumes line up at the site of the house where Nevercracker, DJ, Chowder, and Jenny return their toys to them. After Jenny's mother picks her up and DJ's parents return, Chowder and DJ go trick-or-treating, which they earlier felt they were too old for. Those who were eaten by the house emerge from the basement. Now that I have gotten the plot out of the way, I'm going to explain the critic response. Monster House's budget was $75 million and at the box office has made $140.2 million. Also, it received a 74% on Rotten Tomatoes, a B from CinemaScore, and a 60 out of 100 on Metacritic. Monster House was nominated for an Academy Award, four Annie Awards, one Golden Globe, and three Saturn Awards. It didn't win one. After the quote-unquote success, they released a video game based off of the movie on PS2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS for $20, with an average of 63.98 from game rankings and an average of 62.5 out of 100 on Metacritic. It had very mixed reception. But who else made a movie in the late 2000s and early 2010s without making a video game to go along with it? <laughs> Overall, I think Monster House is a good movie. The plot is totally original and you've never seen it on any other movie. The animation is definitely no Pixar like I said earlier. But for 2006, it's decent, not considering that Cars came out earlier that year. So, I've been Beastie Shrimps. If you have any suggestions for this new series, I will be trying out please comment them and monster house is a movie what we do here is go back 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 <laughs>